Right before we get into this video guys, I just want to mention that I'm doing a $10 Robux gift card giveaway. So, if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on. And comment hashtag Pluto giveaway. Last thing I want to say before I start this video is that I have a Discord server you can join that would also increase the chance of you winning the giveaway. It's completely optional though and not a requirement so don't worry too much about it, although I would love to see some new faces in my server. That being said, here's the server invite code on the screen right now. The rest of the details will be in the description. Now on to the video. Hey, it's Pluto, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cheap mood house under $8,000. This building doesn't require any game passes, so I will be turning mine off for the sake of this video. So yeah, let's just get right into this video. Alrighty guys, so this building will be very easy. It's just this little building right here. You don't have to add all these decorations or anything. Most definitely not the farm behind it, but this is the design for my farm, what I use. It was just this little house and just one little farm either. I think it was right here. But I did have extra plots for my farm. But this is just a little modern house, like little modern mood house. Just for your, just to boost your mood, you know, just to get your energy and your hunger and everything up. So I'm going to show you how it works first. So if I just go right in here, let's go ahead and close this. Alright, so first, I'm feeling pretty stinky as it says right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little shower. I know I'm taking a shower on the carpet, pretty inconvenient. But, you know, it is what it is. All you have is this little bit of space, and I made this on my own, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to put here. Anyways, yeah, just get all in there. Let's see what I'm at. Alright, hygiene. There we go. Five plus, that's really good. So, I'm already getting really clean. I'm already clean, so... Yeah, let's go and view content in my fridge. I have a bunch of oranges. Because, oh, what is, what's that for? I have a bunch of oranges because of the orange trees in my backyard. It doesn't automatically peel, like, you know, take off from your trees if it's on your plot. Like, if it did that, then I would have berries in my refrigerator. I had to manually put the oranges in here. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and keep eating some oranges. One good thing is, if you are living on a farm like I am, with your orange trees and your berry bushes, you don't have to pay for food. All you have to do is just go out here and you can either sell it or pick it. So here, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest. Let's see, store. I'm going to go ahead and press store. And it says, berries, one new item stored in your fridge. So if I go back to my fridge, I just have to go to my view content. And there we go. Here's some berries. So... Well, little berry, of course. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how to make the berry farm. It is very easy and very efficient. I'm not at a really high number. I don't have that much money right now. But I think this is just mostly from working. Oh, but anyway, my hunger is all the way up. My hygiene's all right. Let me just shower for like one second. There we go. Now what I need to do is just go ahead and watch the TV. Press watch. Turn around. And press sit. So, all I have to do is press watch and then sit, not the other way around, because then it won't, it'll like mess up, because it'll make you stand up from where you're sitting. So, I'm just sitting in this chair, this is like my little bed kind of thing. If I want to rest, then I can either go on my carpet on the floor, or I can just sit here or whatever. But yeah, I got my nice little CV up there, on the, mounted on the wall. I got decorations. I should have like a little, yeah, there we go. I have a little shelf and then like a little, I don't know what this is called, like a windmill? No, not a windmill, but I'm not sure. Something in a farmhouse. And then I got a little lamp right here I can turn on for more light, but I don't keep that on. I got a coffee maker. I have some decorations on my counters and stuff. It's pretty nice. But anyways, yeah, there we go. Oop, I don't know. That's never happened. There we go, guys. My stats are all the way up. My mood is all the way up. I'm at Marvelous. I don't think you guys get Marvelous. I think you guys get great. But yeah, I'm at 199, 199, which is basically 100, 100, 100, 100. So yeah, that is how the mood house works. If you're doing it faster without talking, of course, then it's going to be faster than that. It doesn't take too long. It takes like maybe a minute. So, not even that. All you have to do is go in there, take a shower, eat some food, watch some TV, and sit down, and then you're done. 
Alrighty guys, so let's just go ahead and get into the building. So I would recommend having around, I know I said 8,000, that should be the bare minimum. So let's do about 10,000. So I have around $10,000. So I have 200, I'm gonna say 260 grand right now. So if I go into build mode and I will go ahead and turn all of my stuff off. Let's see, transform, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I turn my, whatever that is, my TOC off. I, I don't even think that's what it's called, but anyways where I can combine my objects so if I do here let me explain so I do this and I, I can't do that it's like you know not enough space which makes sense anyways so let's just go ahead and get a wall so I'm gonna go ahead and place down this wall real quick so this is what you need for the wall it is the regular smoky gray color and for the material I'm using the horizontal planks so just go ahead and get that. All right. So once you have that, I'm just going to go ahead and backspace real quick. Copy that. Then just go ahead and copy what I have down here. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. Okay. So that's the back of the wall. And then we're going to go one right here. Okay. That's where the bicycle's at. And then a curved one. Okay. That's where the door's at. And then we're just going to do one, two. And then one, two, again, and that is just, that is the whole house, seriously. That's barely nothing, I know, but seriously, that is the whole house, I'm not even over-exaggerating. So now what you need is the frosted door, so I'm just going to go ahead and place the, let's go ahead and go to the big mode, what is this, the grid, big grid size. So I just go ahead and place the door right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. This should go right above the door. I'm not sure if you guys without the game passes can do this. You should be able to, I'm, I'm not sure if, it's weird if you can't, but try to adjust it to where it kind of looks like that in that place. There we go. So it's matching this. So this is the perfect spot for it. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the roof. Oh, by the way, the color coloring for the door. Let's get the coloring for the door. So the coloring for the frosted door is smoky gray on the first one. The material is metal. The second one is dark tape, and the material is wood. The third one is institutional white. The material is metal. The last one is institutional white. And then for the glass, I have smoky gray, metal. Second one is just institutional white. And the glass, this is the, let's see, what is it? What's it called? So I'm going to press the copy button. It is the thin horizontal window, window, excuse me. Then I have more factory windows. I think it's a factory window at least. I just want to go ahead and place this right here. See if it'll place. There we go. Then I'm gonna go into the grid size one more. Just get this up a little bit. I'm gonna make it matching. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna make it higher than my, oops. Make it higher than my window right here. There we go. So it should look like this. If you can't get that, then try to adjust it to make it the best uh, way you can on yours. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is without no game passes. I mean, I have every single one, but I try to. I'm trying not to use any of them. I'm not sure if I am. If I am, I'm sorry. Yeah, this should be pretty good so far. Next, by the way, I just want to let you guys know, you do not have to use the solar panel. I'm not going to go ahead and even include that because this is eleven thousand eight hundred or no eleven thousand five hundred dollars way too much money that is more than the house so nope we're not going to be doing that we're not going to be doing the bicycle either i'm going to put the bike port for it anyways but i'm not going to be putting a fence i'm going to change a couple things just for the budget but then i'm going to add it back after we are done with our budget okay so by the way the window color just go ahead and copy it's the same window color for all the windows so there should be yeah there's a light right here so it is the clear wall lamp 
All you want to do is do the biggest grid size and place that right there. Perfect. All right, then we're going to get some floors and we're going to start right here. Okay, press T for the manual placement. Okay, we're going to start right here. Okay, then we're going to go to this corner. Then we're going to go to this corner. All right, go to this corner, this corner, this corner, and press place. Skip one. Go to this corner. Go to this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, okay? Then we're going to go to this corner, okay? Then we're going to go to this corner and then go all the way down to this corner and press place. And there you go. That is what I have for the sidewalk and for the little bike port thingy. So all I need is these little, little lights. These are the pool garden lamps. So, let's see how much these are. These are $60, so it should be fine. I'm currently... I barely went down any money, so that's good. So, let's just go ahead and place these down. I'm going to do the big grid. Let's see. Put them on every corner, so... Not sure why did it say recording stopped? That was, did you guys see that too? That was so weird. I thought my recording stopped. <laughs> I was like, huh? I went, well, let me just make sure. Yeah, it should... It, it's still recording. That's so odd. Anyways, so just go ahead and place these on pretty much every corner. If it says you can't, then put your cursor up a little bit. And then just place it on every corner, like so. And then you want to place one right here. You can't, so I'm just going to go ahead and go on the smallest grid. Put that there. Alright, and then put one right here, which you can't. So go to the smallest grid. Ah! can't do that oops small grid there we go there's one right there and then let's see biggest grid place one right there one right there and then last one I'll place it right here the reason I had to place that right there is because the big pole we're gonna be using for our carport or I keep saying carport our bike port little thingy is going to be placed right there so we got the lights so far the color of the lights let me show you it real quick it is the beige color and then for the second color we got dark stone gray okay now for oh by the way for the material it is metal anyways i didn't show you guys what this was so it is medium stone gray with concrete and the second one doesn't matter at all. Like, it could be, like, really bright pink. It wouldn't matter. But I'm not going to confirm it. But anyways, this is just what the same texture of the sidewalk is. So, now, all we have to do is just go ahead and get the plane markings, which is the fence markings. And just go ahead and place one right here. One right here. Drag all the way over here and right there there we go and then let's see where our money at we have spent around two thousand three hundred dollars two thousand two hundred dollars or so so we're gonna spend three we're gonna spend three hundred dollars real quick i know very expensive but it is very worth it so we're just gonna place a light right here i'm gonna go ahead and go into the second grid size it's gonna go ahead and place it right there Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get another floor. All right. And place one right here. Okay, make sure you're in manual placement. One right here. All right. One right here. One right here and one right there, I think. Yep, that is correct. Place it just like this. Just like so. Oh, and then you want to place one in the corner like that. Otherwise, it'll stretch through the building. There we go. Perfect. Should be good. Yep, perfect. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab the black plain mar markings again and place these all around this. So very easy. So if I want to go slow with that real quick. So just place it to this. Drag it all the way over here. Place one right here and place one right here. Perfect. All right. So now I am at... 258,000 so I am currently at around 
8,000 or 7,600 dollars that I'm allowed to spend. So let's see else what we need. Let's just go ahead and put this pine tree right here. Just get this out of the way. Right, it is going to be directly in the middle window. If that makes any sense. So let's just do the big grid just so you guys can, you know, see that. And then I'm just going to do this real quick. Hopefully this isn't going into the building. There we go. Perfect. So do the second grid, the scoot it up one. And then, yeah, that's pretty good. And then we're not going to go ahead and we can put one bush. Here, let's put one little bush. Let's see. Uh, here, let me, let me go and copy that. How much is it? $70. Okay. So this is the round bush. I'm just going to put it on this side like it is. Four. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because it turned on the, I don't know why it turned on, but the colliding objects got turned on. So yeah, if you're doing anything that I can't do, just try to make it look the best you can. And if, it's, if it is impossible for you to do it, then try to look for something else or comment down below. Then I will try to make sure to look for a little fix for it. Maybe a little cheaper, better looking fix. But anyways, this is just it so far. And now, oh, by the way, for the coloring of the tree, it is the custom color. Excuse me. It should not be a custom color. It is so odd. I don't remember so ignore the custom color the material is grass and then just go ahead and select either earth green or parsley do the parsley green okay so we're gonna do the parsley green which is basically the same thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and boom so there we go parsley green and then for the wood down here it is reddish brown and it is wood all right so now for the roof we're going to go ahead and do something a little bit different. So, just go ahead and pre press, uh, I can't talk, T. So you can do the manual placement. And we're going to be using the flat roof. So, press T for the manual placement. And we're going to be using the flat roof. So, just go here, here, here. Actually, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. So, go here, sorry. We're going to go this way. So here, here, here. And then we're going to scoot up. We're going to go one right here. Okay. And then one right here. And then we're good. So just go ahead and press right on the mouse or whatever. And there we go. So this is a little hang, like the off, offing or whatever it is. I'm not sure what to call it. So now this looks better than mine actually. So now what you want to do is, oh, by the way, for the coloring, I keep forgetting. The coloring for that is just do the darkest black you can. Actually, no, do the black, the regular black, okay? Then go ahead and use concrete. Then use plastic and dark gray, or dark stone gray, rather. And then for the third one, use dark stone gray and plastic again. All right. So if we look, uh... This is what it looks like inside so far. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's just go ahead and finish the outside. All right. So let's just go ahead and put this pole right here. So it says that we can't place it for some reason. Oh, I see the issue. So we're not gonna do the roof yet. We're gonna go ahead and place the poles first. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna place that pole and move this lamp. There we go. Now, put the lamp as close as I can to the pole. There we go. So, the lamp's just going to sit there. There we go. Now, just have those poles there. By the way, those poles are called the Modern Reveal Round Pillar. Okay. And the coloring for that is smoky gray. The material is horizontal planks. For the second one is ghost gray, and for the second one's material is metal. Okay, you wanted to have two of those pillars. So right now we have used around $3,000 exactly. So now we have $7,000. 
So if we just remove the two from five, this is our amount right now. We should have seven thousand dollars. Okay, now what you want to do is just go ahead and take the roof and do exactly what I did. So press T right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. All right. Try not to get confused and then press right click and there we go. That is what we had to do. Little tricky, but it's all right. All right. So there is a little problem we are coming into. Let me see. All right. So let me redo the roof again. There's one little problem with the roof, so just do exactly what I did. Okay, but we're going to take this little arrow right here. You see that? We're going to expand it just one, a little bit to where it makes it $45. Okay, there we go. Now, it should be a little better. Let me see. All right, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's good. The re I don't know why that's doing this. Okay, that's gonna move this tray real quick. It just it takes a little to get this right for some reason. I don't know if it did this when I was building it, but there we go. That's that's good. That's good. Just place the tree as close as we can. So that's the closest we can place the tree. All right, so this is looking insane so far. As you guys can see, it is coming along perfectly fine. This is this is really exciting. So I think you guys got the roof right. So it is the black. Yeah, you got it. You guys got it right. So now what we want to do is we're just gonna go ahead and grab the blah blah blah. blah classic fence and we're gonna place two of them right here oh, it's not gonna let me for some reason that is so weird oh it's because the okay I understand so we're gonna go ahead and move this pillar all right then we're gonna go ahead and place the classic fence boom boom and we're gonna place another one hold on we gotta move the pillars sometimes we've got to move stuff and then move them back that's completely fine just for everything to go into place now I want them let's see all right so we're gonna place that pillar right there we're gonna be in the smallest grid size by the way and you just want to get it to pretty much right there the closest as you can get to the pillar I know it's not quite like mine because mine is like directly on to the fence. That's because I have the one thing, this thing right here. So if I did have this, then that would just go directly through it and I could place it. But no, we are not going to be using game passes, so that's alright. So just go ahead and move this light and take this pillar and just get this as close as we can. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty perfect. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm gonna place this light about right. Place that light about right there. Actually, hold on. Just go ahead and place it on the actual sidewalk itself. There we go. Perfect. So now everything's looking pretty, pretty good so far. Now let's say we have a bike. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this bike over here real quick. So this is what it would look like with the bike. Okay, this is what it would look like completely finished. <laughs> But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and stop real quick. Let's just go ahead and check out what we've done so far. So this is what it should look like so far. Let's just go ahead and go in here. So it's not really looking like, you know, pretty fancy anything. There's not even a floor or lights or anything. But promise, I promise, I promise it'll look insane by the time we get it finished. So, oops. I'm not go to my house. Let's go in build mode. Oh, what? Okay. Weird. Anyways. So, now we're just going to go ahead and go over here. Now, just go ahead and press U or press the toggle roofs button. Alright. Now, for the floor. This is what we're going to do. So, just go ahead and get a floor. And place one right here. Make sure you're in manual placement mode. Place one right here one right here one right here 
one right here and one right here place and okay and now place one right here one right here and one right here place so the reason for that is because if I went ahead and backspaced and did the whole floor regularly then this would be all freaking funny looking so this would be going you know, that way this go that way because there's a corner so if I just do this all boxes like all squares and whatever and just have this corner like that then the other stuff is not gonna be like curved and the rest of this stuff is gonna be kinda of like normal looking floor I guess you could say anyways now for the coloring of the floor we got dark top pay and for the materials we got wood planks okay the second one does not matter whatsoever and we want to go ahead and place, paste it or copy and paste it for both of these little floors right here alright so then for the wall let's see the wall is is it any different yes it is so the wall we want institutional white and just regular plastic alright so the inside walls should be institutional white and for the material just regular plastic alright so looking good so far looking pretty good looking pretty snazzy so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just gonna go ahead and grab this chair right here it has to be this specific chair you might ask Pluto why does it have to be this $1,400 chair okay the reason why it has to be this $1,400 sleek armchair is because this is the specific chair that boosts your mood up really really fast while watching TV so if we go ahead and copy on the biggest grid copy this chair right here we're gonna go ahead and have fifty three hundred dollars or five thousand three hundred dollars so now what you want to do is we're getting pretty close to our budget but that is okay because we're pretty much finished what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get this counter which is the modern counter and I'm just gonna go ahead and find it like you guys have to been doing what is this special stuff oh this is so cool snow scooter snow trooper snow shooter there we go right here and we're just gonna go ahead and take this one not the drawer just the regular $500 modern counter so it should be the same one right here just a different color I can't really can compare it but just place this right there okay all right that's $500 and then we're gonna take this nice little stove which is ooh four thousand dollars no thank you so we're gonna get the cheapest stove how about that uh da, 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 da. four thousand dollar stove no thank you it looks nice yes it does don't get me wrong but it is a four thousand dollar stove so i think we can do better so what we're gonna do is uh let's see plumbing i keep going to plumbing it is not in plumbing is it cooking no do 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 do, do. household correct no appliances yes it should be in appliances am I correct yes we're gonna look for a stove oops oh, stop stove okay we're gonna get these basic $300 stove perfect just place that there all right oops so it I accidentally turned that on so we're just gonna go ahead and place it there we'll go ahead and redo everything it, you can't place this here if you you know so we'll just go ahead and redo this stuff real quick but then we need a refrigerator that is perfectly fine Ref nope what are you doing refridge now I know for a fact you have a fridge Does it just say fridge interesting so we're just gonna use the icebox fridge perfectly fine we don't need that two thousand dollar refrigerator so we're just gonna go ahead and set that outside all right then now we can take this basic shower right here the basic shower set 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 sorry is one thousand four hundred ninety dollars now we have four thousand dollars left we're getting pretty close to our limit I'm just gonna go ahead and place this right here so far all right so now what I want you to do is just go into the smallest grid okay this is how we're gonna get everything to fit in here everything's not fitting pretty nicely as we want it at the moment but it will be so I'm just gonna go ahead and take pretty much everything out and I'm gonna scoot this as far over to the back and to the right as I can okay so there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and take this counter 
and we're gonna go ahead and put it as close as to the chair as we can I think it is touching the chair yes it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the color oops no 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 there we go so the oh no no we're not a tree right now we are not gonna be colored as a tree okay <laughs> All right, so we're gonna press yes and then okay there we go so the coloring for the counter is the dark stone gray the material is metal the second one is metal for the material and is dark stone gray again for the third one it is medium stone gray and for the material it is marble all right so make sure that is as close and as close to the back as you can get it. All right, so we'll just go ahead and grab our stove right here. Oops, not color. We're not coloring yet. I'm gonna go ahead and place it. Let's move the shower because you know the shower cannot be right here at the moment. Place the stove and it's gonna try to connect, which is good. We want it to connect, I think. Do we want to connect? Yes, we do. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure it connects. Okay, get down in there. And we're gonna put it as far to the right as we can. Make sure there's not a huge gap. Okay, there is a pretty decent gap, unfortunately. So, we're going to take the fridge out and make sure this is as close back to the wall as we can. And touching the chair. There we go. Now, we're going to take the stove. Turn that this way. Make sure it's back to the wall as we can. Boom. There we go. Now, there's no gap. There may be a gap right here, but we're just going to ignore that. We don't need to worry about that right now. So, for the coloring of the stove, let's go ahead and get the coloring of this stove. Boom. Oops. So, no, no, no. We're going to go ahead and... Do, 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 do. Let's do... Where's the light stone gray? We're going to do medium stone gray for the second one in metal. Okay, actually, let's try plastic. Yeah, let's do plastic. So medium stone gray and plastic for the second one. And for the first one, they're going to do dark stone gray and metal. All right. That is for the stove. And then for the upper top of the stove, we got, it is $175, not that bad. We're just going to place that there. All right. And then we got the fridge. Go and place this here. All right. Place that right there. Now we're going to go in the big grid. Make sure the shower is placed in a good spot. There we go. Shower is perfectly placed in a good spot. Now for the color of the fridge. I think we have the same fridge. There we go. So $10. It is the institutional white. And the second color. Or no, rather the material for the first color is metal. For the second color it is dark stone gray and for the second material it is metal as well all right so it's looking like this so far looking pretty good the only thing we had to substitute was the four thousand dollar stove unfortunately which is understandable we can use this perfectly fine and then now we need the tv so the tv is 2200 we should have enough, but I'm just going to go ahead and say get maybe a thousand dollars more. All right. And there we go. We only passed the budget by 500. That's not too bad at all. So what you want to do is just go ahead and place this as high as you can. As high as you can. There we go. There we go. Put the roof on. And there we go, guys. It is completely done. Completely finished. Now all we need to do is just go ahead and go over here. I only passed the budget by $500. That's completely fine. Just go over here. Okay. Now we can take a shower. Completely fine. Alright. Uh, you can just make the shower institutional white, by the way, with the metal. And there is our fridge. We got our TV. We got our chair. We got our counter we can set stuff on. We got our stove that works perfectly fine. We got our light thingy so i'm just gonna use our tv so let's watch and sit down see if this is working perfectly fine do, do, do. and there we go so guys the fun and energy is up so this mood house is working perfectly fine or whatever you want to call it so let's just go ahead and get this up and then 
Let's go ahead and take a orange real quick and eat that. Get our hunger up. Let's go outside real quick. So yeah, this little mood house is working perfectly fine. I only went over $500, so I'm going to go ahead and set the limit to $10,500. That is all you need for this house. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys a lot. And I will also make a second tutorial on how to connect this little mood house to a nice little farm like I have it connected here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and you can change your mailbox, it don't matter. Just go ahead and set your mailbox right here if you can. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this one, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Don't forget to do the hashtag Pluto giveaway. If you want that $10 Robux gift card you've seen in the beginning of the video. And don't forget to join the Discord that will also improve your chances. And you can just also talk to me. Maybe I will do a personal giveaway. I don't know. But don't please don't be asking for it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them down below. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.